make a bread. Yeah, I think that's it. Today we're um, cutting the tiles to make a new vegetable bed to grow vegetables and we're going to have a new compo biodigester set up going on to make biogas uh, so we just need to like cut the tiles to break and then use the jackhammer to break through the concrete uh, which is going to be a fun job. <laughs> You ready? So, in the last um, in the last few weeks, we've been diving a little bit more into compost thanks to a book recommendation by uh, Sheila Darmos from the Southern Light Project in the south of Greece. Um, we're going to put you the book uh, reference in the comments. Um, it's a very uh, good recommendation, I think, and everyone should read it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is like try to fix our compost that is not optimal. A compost bed should have a mat, um, a sponge in the bottom, made of sawdust, something that can absorb, and then like the same thing on the side, but like a thinner layer, and another one on the top. What we can see here is that we can still see that, um, so we have flies, um, because they have direct access to the leftover that we throw away in the compost. So what we're gonna do is like, just basically put more cover material. This is all that you see, this sawdust. Um, luckily we're like, we have a lot of sawdust because of the workshop. So we're gonna be able to make a flat, nice, even um, sawdust bed on top that will prevent the fly to just get in, okay? We also have like a generous layer of sawdust to make sure that there is never, ever, ever like an access. Um, like the only thing that we should see apparently, like um, according to, to this book is, <clears throat> is just like the cover material. Now it's like we have a very generous cover, which should allow us to um, compost nicely. So now that we almost fixed our compost, um, we're gonna we're gonna see how we fill it. The the basis of this method is to have to make a hole in the middle, then pour your contents, and then cover it again. And you need to make sure that you always cover everything uh, with uh, cover material, so the sawdust or, or, or whatever you have. So this want to go deep enough. Put it, okay, then I'm going to add some cover material. Mm. And that's going to be all right. Um, okay, so another update we've had is, you'll remember our burning station for doing the the burning process of the wood, the charring technique of yakisugi. We used to make our burning station out of bricks, uh, but we found that it wasn't really portable now that we're working on different sites and like rebuilding the bricks and some of them were breaking, it wasn't, it wasn't really convenient. So we made a new burning station out of an old oil drum and it has the opening to put the fuel in and then another opening to put the wood through. So you get like a super nice, fast uh, charring process with this, this new one and it's super portable. It was time to say goodbye to our brick burning station, but we're happy to have a new, convenient, super effective burning station. So great. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good.